I'll be doing is with uh, W2s. So I'm just going to select a W2 uh, for upload here. Okay, now I'm going to submit it to the Verify uh, API system. And in any second, it's basically going to extract all the data fields. Um, so here's the W2 that I uploaded on the left. Uh, in the middle, we've got a form uh, where you, the JSON on the right, which is the actual extraction from the API, has been pre-populated into uh, these fields just to sort of make it easier to visually read this. Um, but a few things to take note, uh, field uh, or oh, section 13 has got checkboxes with crosses through them. So Verify has worked that out, that it's 13A statutory employee has been selected. Um, also, you see that the other fields are not selected. Verify understands that as well. When we look at field uh, 15 right here, we've got um, multiple states, uh, NE and PA. So if we look at the JSON file and just scroll down, here we go, here's all the state breakdown, right? And E, P, A, and so forth. So Verify has extracted all of those, uh, all of that information as well. And then if we look at field uh, 12, right there, 12A, 12B, 12C, uh, D, um, you'll see there are multiple columns, G, and then you know, in the first column, you, you've got a letter. Second one, you've got a number. So Verify, again, has extracted all of that. And you'll see that um, 12C and D do not have uh, any values in the first column, and Verify knows that as well. Uh, so that's a pretty successful extraction. But let's grab another W2 uh, and process that one and see how, you know, those fields work out. So uh, this W2 is slightly different than the previous one. Uh, we've got uh, number 15 only got one state. Uh, which is fine, right? There it is, there's a state. Uh, we also got number 13 here. Uh, we've got the third, second, sorry, uh, checkbox selected, the retirement plan, yep, that's correct. And um, and then the rest are not selected. So that's all good. Um, even 12, uh, 12A to D has been properly uh, extracted as well. Um, and on top, obviously, all the other fields like social security, EAN, employees names, all of those are pretty much, you know, standard for Verify to extract anyway out of the box. Um, the biggest complexities are obviously checkboxes, being able to see tables with multiple rows, um, especially columns, um, and what's what and so forth. Um, now let's let's get a. I know there was also another uh, another tough one to solve, which is how to deal with number fourteen, the other field. So um, let's just have a look at another W two. Uh, this W2 uh, might be slightly different. Whoops, submit it. Now you can see how fast Verify is doing all the data extractions. Um, yeah, this one's a lot different, right? Um, so look at this. Look at the other field, 14. Uh, pretty funky. Now if we look at what Verify extracted right in the middle here, number 14, uh, it's pretty impressive, right? Okay, so uh, as you can see, this W2 is a lot different in design layout than all the previous ones um, and verify has done a great job at extracting all the fields uh, let's do one more and just have a look at those uh, other fields as well so 14 again you see the other fields are slightly different here um, again you know we've got one state now so scroll down here there it is one state um, so that's all good, nice and easily extracted. Uh, number 13, the middle checkbox was ticked, yep, retirement plan. Um, and there we go. So all of this data is now available um, to basically be able to throw any W2 um, against the Verify API and have the W2 data extracted like in seconds. You see how fast it is. This is actually our Dave API and it's <laughs> super duper fast um, production much faster.